Astros of the Stars, Cosmos of the Greater Universe. This video will go over some basic space science terminology in terms of scaling, and this will help with the related material in the daily morning news shows, but also with the upcoming Plasma Cosmology miniseries. We have done follow-ups to the Catastrophe and Climate movies, and Cosmology is next. At the end of the video, we'll review these scaling terms and cover why they are critical to the dark matter and plasma cosmology topic, making for the first step in proving that astrophysics and cosmology are indeed fields that can be understood by everyone. First, lots of pretty stars going by here riding about 500 light years above a hypothetical spiral galaxy plane, so let's begin there with the region just outside the magnetic field of a star. At our sun we call that the heliosphere, but at others we call it the astrosphere, and the circumstellar medium, the region just outside of that, is a dense halo of solar wind plasma mixing with the dust, gas, and plasma from the galaxy. Stepping out even further from the electromagnetic interaction region of the star, we find the pure interstellar medium. This is just the gas, dust, and plasma of the galaxy, that which is left over from galaxy formation and added to over time by stellar nova. We step out next to the circumgalactic medium, just outside the galaxy. It's another halo region immediately surrounding it. Then, as you move out through that interstellar medium and then the circumgalactic medium, you may still be within a cocoon of galaxies in a cluster, and that region between the galaxies is called the intracluster medium, not unlike the scaled up version of the interstellar medium within these galaxies. Now the clusters of galaxies are not randomly spread through the cosmos, but organized into a web of filaments, strung along them like pearls on a string, which are actually currents since they are moving and feeding the galaxies with their gas and dust and plasma, and they are doing so as they organize the heavens. The intergalactic medium, also known as the warm hot intergalactic medium, and the cosmic web, is indeed where they say up to half or more of all luminous matter in the universe can be found. Now, here is the cosmic scale chart with a bit of additional info at the top. Particle physics at the smallest scale absolutely has found a place in the largest scale sciences, and planetary and planetary system study is at an all-time high. But for the purposes of this video, the cosmic scaling terminology with an eye towards dark matter the particle physics is a different story outside of that cosmic level terminology, and there's actually almost no dark matter science at all at the planetary or planetary system scale. You don't need dark matter or anything but the sun and planets to explain our orbits mathematically. But at the individual star level, the astrophysics do begin to matter at larger scales, for timelines of the universe and for many dark matter studies. But as we move out, we don't see much outside of the annihilation realm for the circumstellar medium, scientists hoping for an indirect detection of dark matter annihilations in that region. There is even less hope for that outside of that region in the interstellar medium, but of course that is where the galactic magnetic fields are playing a role in the galactic dynamics of the story and how they organize the systems. And when we get to the galaxy level beyond, the CGM material becomes incredibly important for both seeking indirect detections of dark matter, but also for those hoping to explain galactic dynamics, cluster dynamics, and the organizing power of the cosmic web using normal matter instead. The circumgalactic medium is where we have already begun to see studies discovering mass and dynamics in favor of the latter alternative, and out to the cosmic web, they are finding that the missing material of the universe is in those constructs that induce dynamic effects on complex systems. Screenshot, jot down, tweet, whatever, just make sure you understand these terms for both the morning shows and the upcoming Plasma Cosmology series, and be safe everyone.